For the morons and bimbos in the audience, here's why I'm out here. Her name possibly rhymes with Toto, and her very presence makes me want to aggressively assault the nearest passerby. Deborah Soto with the big legs and the peanut brain. Soto with that title belt. I'm coming for you, hun, because last I heard you thought you were getting some kind of vacation for a while. But while I'm around, there's no days off for anybody. You got that? I could have been in that fancy tournament, but I don't need to be. Firstly, because it's full of the C+, B-, and B+, players, aside from the boss and Camillo, of course. And, uh, you know, I really don't need to be getting in the way of their big wins. Besides, I went and looked at some real funny things in the back. Stats or whatever, I don't know, I hate words. But one thing stuck out to me, and that's that I'm so far the only person to get Deborah so threatened that she felt the need to take a DQ loss to avoid being pinned to the mat by a superior opponent. Whoever's in charge of the lights around here needs to start paying the fucking bills. Anyway, Deborah, I'm coming for you whether you like it or not. You're never safe because I could be anywhere at any time and absolutely ready to take that big head off of your shoulders. That's what happens when you piss off Buffalo's baddest and that championship. It's just an added bonus. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, Cheyenne, you are so full of anger and rage. I almost admire it. I really do. However, Cheyenne, you must realize, Deborah, sweetheart, she is the House of Faith's concern now. However, sweet Cheyenne, you too could also be a concern. No, a member of the House of Faith. All you need to do is simply open your third eye and realize you're being used. You're being played. EMP? She is using you, and you are so blind to it because of all this rage. So Cheyenne, please, do us all a favor. Let us unite our causes, and join us. You're real fucking funny if you think I'd throw away my sisters in favor of your freaky cult bullshit. Oh, Cheyenne. I would have thought trivial insults and name-calling would be above us. I guess I was wrong about you. I would have thought someone so passionate as yourself would also have the vision to see something greater than herself. Alas. You can stay getting taken advantage of Xi'an. One day, though. When it all comes crashing down and these sisters of yours betray you. Always remember that I offered my hand to you. That the house would have opened its doors to you as well. But... If you refuse to step aside, I guess you too now must suffer consequences.